Hello everybody and welcome back. Welcome to my channel, it's Terry. This is going to be a, another edition of Another Day. And today I am talking about my path Charles Worth the Eye. Now I have never repotted this. I got this about, oh, uh, maybe two years ago from uh, High Desert Orchids. On Facebook they have the Thursday auction of orchids live. Um, it came in spike, I think it was right here. The year afterwards, it put up this fan, which put up a sheath that blasted, and then an additional put up these two growths. So I guess I just had it, this will be the third year. So if this was the first year, second year, and then these growths came with this last year's growth that blasted the spike. So, um, anyway, Charles Worthy Eye, before I get started on this repot, it will not take long. Uh, this one says, Charles Worthy Eye, species endemic to Burma, um, dorsal sepals frequently equaling the span of the petals, easily recognized when not in bloom as the undersurface of the plain green leaves are covered with purple marbling toward the base, solitary flowers are produced in the fall. This one gives a little bit more information. There is the flower here. Um, and you can kind of read it on your own. It's very popular, of course, names other regions. This one does say that it is in rock crevices, leaf litter, limestone peaks at moderate to high altitude. So it is reputed to be very difficult um, in cultivation is, um, well, due to what it says down here, requires a significant difference between day and night temperatures in order to flower well. So for me, I have this sitting near the window. I don't, near the window of the greenhouse. I do not move it outside in the summer. That's where it sits so that hopefully because it's closer to the window at night, it will get some cooling off, um, more so pronounced, more pronounced than it would if it were not against that window. Um, and that goes for the winter as well. It stays right there. And as it said, it does, they do bloom in the fall into the winter. Um, yeah, so that's uh, Charles Worth the Eye. I'll just get right to it. It's already been moistened. The pot has the plant, so it should be easy to fall out, but you can see how it is definitely in need of a repot, how it is leaning. Pretty much like terrestrial mix. is what the consistency of it is. Now at this point in time, because of uh, it coming from limestone cliffs, I need to get some oyster shell or something. Okay, so you can see that's the media that it was in, fairly small bark. Um, what I have is orchiata. I'm just gonna use the same pot. Orchiata and a little bit of charcoal mixed with it. I will center the plant in the pot. Well, maybe a little bit 
towards the back, but I suppose it is possible that this side could get baby, so I don't want to put it flush on that side. Give it a chance. So yeah, I bought this plant at that auction. Um, it was in flower, as I said, and I really honestly had no intention of the plant making it through that winter. I thought that it would, I would see the flower and the plant would slowly, that's just how jaded I was at that moment. I wanted it, but I just didn't think, didn't have the confidence that I would be able to keep the plant alive. Um, so I was very, very happily surprised Hopefully I can get this thing to start blooming um, regularly. And a few pieces of charcoal in there. And I've got it folks that is my repot of charles worthy eye papiopedal and charles worthy eye species from burma thanks for watching enjoy your orchids bye